it's a turnover on downs there for Game Club Operator. Please reset the game clock to 155. 155. Thank you. So let's see if Clark and the Fire can come up with a two minute drive here to end this first half. Clark, far sideline, and it is complete. There to his reliable wide receiver there, Harlan Wolfe. I spoke to Clark this week about his receiving core, and he added that it's been a dream come true to play not just with these amazing wide receivers, but with this team. As he has a pass complete there across the 45. And that was complete to Rennick. 138 moving on this clock. Fire show hurry up offense here. And they do have two timeouts. And it was a second down and two. They get the first down there as the pass is complete to and the robot top. Robotide, the number two receiver in terms of yards in the European League of Football behind Kyle Sweet of the Barcelona Dragons. He was able to get that first down and step out of bounds to stop the clock with 127 to play here in this first half. Clark. It's a shotgun snap. They're in King's territory. Climbs out of the pocket. And shoelace tackle near the 30. I continue to run. Place the fire at the 31. Second down and four. You get it to Rennick. Rennick trying to stay on his feet. And he pulled down to about the 25. They say it's good enough for a first down. Huh? 54 seconds of play here. They place him at the 25. First and 10. Clock in the shotgun formation. Hurry up offense here. Belt high snap. Surveys. Throws it out to Canoodle. And Canoodle, he's able to get out of bounds. They mark him near the 20 to about the 22-yard line. Canoodle with that reception. Canoodle, who played for the Kings last season, set an ELF record with 15 receptions in Week 11 win over the Istanbul Rams to go along with 269 yards and four touchdowns. Willis and, and that one just didn't look good there. And is that a fumble? That may be a fumble, as I didn't hear much of a whistle. And pulling that up was A.J. Wetland. Let's see what they call here. they say here. Wow, that was a close one. Don't know. He was being pulled down. Let's see what Thomas Plindo has to say to clear this up. Five seconds to play here in this first half. Official timeout. The previous play is on the first review. So they're going to go ahead and, and get under the hood here and take a look at this one. And one thing that was interesting is as that ball came out, I didn't hear any whistle to indicate that 
stoppage of play with that tackle on Clark. AJ Witten has scooped it up, but let's see what they come up with here. Here's Thomas Plindle with some clarification. After further review, the runner was down by contact on the 23 yard line. Game clock operator, please reset the game clock to 33 seconds and then run 10 seconds off. Ball will be, uh, game clock will start on my signal. Wow, so. Here are the fire from the Kings. 23. Surveys up the field, and that pass is incomplete. So here's a third down and eight. Brennan just could not pull it in. 16 seconds here. Adrian Clark comes time out the auto and calls the timeout. Düsseldorf, 30 second timeout, second timeout. So the fire, again, they need this win coming into this contest hosting the Leipzig Kings. Had a less than one percent chance of making the playoffs, but for the the Fire to make the playoffs, the Raiders would have to lose against the Thunder. The Galaxy would have to lose against the Surge. And Ryan Fire would have to win today against the Kings with a large point differential. They have a better overall point differential than the Thunder, and obviously that is not to their advantage at the moment as they're going to bring on the field goal unit. This is going to be from 40 yards out. Here's the snap. Here's the placement. It is no good. So a potential game time field goal with 12 seconds to play here in the first half. Ball short for the fire. And again, the fire, they need the points and a win for their playoff hopes, and it is not looking good here to end this first half. Unbelievable. Week 14 drama, folks. 